North Korea. And I'm like, that's actually not joking about that. And uh, yeah, uh, so maybe he's going to tell us about that. I don't know. <laughs> he actually stole uh, Kim's, you know, uh, uniform. So he has that on now. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's bring on stage Mr. Biante. <laughs> Have you heard they got like dog GPS? What's up with that? You know, my dog can't even use a cell phone. How's he gonna use a CPS? Ah, all right, sorry. I just got back from Pyongyang, North Korea, and boy, are my arms tired. You know, from pushing all those buttons, launching all those missiles. Huh? <laughs> Actually, I, I think I'm the reason North Korea launched missiles over Japan. <laughs> because I was in Pyongyang doing stand-up the night before. <laughs> and I might have reminded them of like why they hate the Japanese. <laughs> because all my jokes, I, I took all my North Korean jokes and turned them into Japanese jokes. <laughs> I did, um, why did the Japanese cross the road? To get to the other genocide. <laughs> and I did not get that response from the North Koreans. I got like, oh, ho, ho, ho. So I think I might have been the reason why that <laughs> Now, am I saying there was someone that powerful in my party that like could have told them we're gonna launch a missile over Japan? Well, one person at the party was Kim Jong-un. <laughs> the Kim Jong-un? <laughs> No. <laughs> but you know, it surprised me a lot being in North Korea. It was a lot different than I thought. Like, you can smoke in restaurants, you can smoke at bars. And I went to the hotel, I saw an ashtray, and I told my friend, what, you can smoke in the hotel? And he said, yes, listen, this is a free country. <laughs> I went to the metro station, which was really beautiful. It actually works as a bomb shelter, which is like, why don't other people do that? It's like if there's like a, somebody would attack New York, and just, let's go to the subway, and just get killed. <laughs> North Korea actually serves another purpose. But I was there, I heard like another tourist say like, it's fake, it's all a stage, everyone's an actor. <laughs> and I like, they don't show you like the, like the worst parts of the city, but it's not the Truman Show, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So like, what do you do? I'm a rice farmer, what do you do? I'm the guy that pretends to use the subway. <laughs> when the foreigners are here. <laughs> That's how I think North Korea is talking about. Yeah, I'm walking over here. <laughs> Let's go get some Pyongyang pizza. <laughs> they actually do have like hot dogs and stuff. You know what's the uh, mandatory entertainment in North Korea? You know what they call it? Kim Jong Fun. <laughs> 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 so I was actually I was there uh, on North Korea for Youth Day. Does anyone know what Youth Day is? It's like when they celebrate something. I don't know. <laughs> I was doing stand up and uh, I showed up like the next day and they had like you know you probably seen it on YouTube like the super choreographed dances. Yeah. Have you seen them? Yeah. Like yeah. all the students are doing their thing. I was just watching it, and then there's this guy, uh, Portuguese guy, just walks up to me like, hey, let's join him. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I think that's something you can definitely get shot for. <laughs> hey, I'm a drunk European, but a dad. It looks really good. They know what they're doing over there. And uh, but then eventually uh, the North Koreans like, no, no, come join, join. So yeah, I joined. And I danced for a while, and you know I was not in sync, but there was this one move that I did perfectly with everyone else. It went like this. Where well, uh, yeah, I'm very drunk right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it goes like this. It goes like that. <laughs> yeah. Long story short, I was on the North Korean news. They <laughs> showed that clip of me doing that one thing and saying, it's like, even foreigners showed up for you. <laughs> I haven't found any like video of it on YouTube because I was talking about that goddamn missile. <laughs> God damn it. Hope you like the suit. I had it tailor made and not steal it from, from uh, Kim Jong Il. I thought about it doing like the old switcheroo, put my clothes on him. <laughs> 
But actually, I had tailor made. Now, I personally would never refer to it as a sweatshop. <laughs> but this one guy did. <laughs> like, that too. I was like, I need this suit down at 9 in the morning. And she's like, oh, really? <laughs> I had to work all night. My friend gave him coffee, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, I think that's really all I have. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 um, because I'm the last one on stage. I, Dan told this uh, werewolf vampire thing, and just it came to my head. The most offensive joke in the world. <laughs> Should I end on the? Oh, first I'm gonna say like, hey Rachel, you're an aspiring gold digger, right? <laughs> I'm an aspiring rich man. <laughs> uh, if you want to go to my place and talk about Jesus later, <laughs> don't worry, fellas. I'm not stealing your girl because you know I'm gonna. She's not gonna want to talk to me after my offensive joke. Yeah. Wait, you guys. Should I end on the most offensive joke I've thought about? Woo! All right. Yeah. Yep. It's uh. So the way to kill a werewolf. Is with silver bullets. Yeah. You know how you kill a Jewish werewolf? <laughs> Gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>